Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a new Crafty Quintet video for Simon Says Stamp. Each month I'll be sharing five of something crafty, and today I'm sharing five ways to use distress inks. There are lots of ways to use these versatile inks, but these are some of my personal favorites. I'm mostly going to focus on the different techniques rather than the finished cards, but if you have any questions about the products I used, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer. So let's get started. My first card uses traditional ink blending. I love blending inks on Strathmore Bristol cardstock. The ink seems to sit on top of the paper longer, leading to smoother, more seamless blends. If you're having troubles with sharp lines in your blending, I'd highly recommend giving this cardstock a try. For this particular card, I used worn lipstick, abandoned coral, candied apple, and seedless preserves distress ink and blended them onto the cardstock with a mini round ink blending tool. Today I'm finishing the majority of my cards using dies and stamps from a new to me company, Paper Rose Studio. I discovered this Australian company at Creativation a few weeks ago and was thrilled to realize that they were already being carried at Simon's Stamp. I love their unique designs, especially the fun Aussie themed products. I finished this particular card with the adorable kangaroo in the forest die and a sentiment from Lawn Fawn's Critters on the Savannah. My next card features another traditional use of distress inks, watercoloring. I taped a piece of Ranger watercolor paper to a hardboard with Thermoweb purple tape and then smushed tattered rose, scattered straw, and wild honey distress inks onto the white part of my glass mat. I added a, a little water to each color and then wet my paper thoroughly. I used a 3 quarter inch flat brush to apply a light wash of each color to my paper. I built up the color gradually with more ink and more layers. Then I dried that with my heat gun and added a sentiment from Simon Says Stamp and the wheat and grass dye from Paper Rose Studios cut from gold dust glitter cardstock. Next I die cut the adorable Australian birds dye from Paper Rose Studio from Ranger watercolor paper and taped it to my glass mat with a little purple tape. Then I placed a scrap piece of acetate over the birds and applied a rainbow of distress inks. I used candied apple, carved pumpkin, mustard seed, twisted citron, mermaid lagoon, blueprint sketch, and wilted violet. After I applied all of the inks to the acetate, I spritzed them with water, used my finger to smooth out any harsh lines, and then smushed them onto the birds. I used my finger to press the ink and move the acetate around a little bit to smear the ink. Then I spritzed the birds directly with water to move the ink around a little more. I dried them with my heat gun and then added a shadow of black cardstock before adhering them to a white card base. I stamped a sentiment from Paper Rose Studios Bird Day to finish the card. My next card starts off with traditional ink blending using cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, and chipped sapphire distress inks. I blasted it briefly with my heat gun and then used a spray bottle to apply water droplets across the panel. 
The water reacts with the ink and lifts the ink away from those areas, resulting in a bleached effect. Perfect for underwater bubbles. I also used a mister bottle to get a more even mist across the panel. The longer you leave the water droplets on the panel, the lighter the spots will be. You can also ink a stamp with water and stamp it onto the blended panel for a similar effect. I love this water reactive quality of Distress Inks and Distress Oxides. I paired this panel with the Under the Sea Border dies and a sentiment from Lawn Fawn's Mermaid for You. My final card uses an acrylic block stamping technique I haven't used in quite a while and I'd forgotten how fun it is. I took an acrylic block and inked it with Distress Inks. Due to the size of the block, I used mini ink cubes just to make it a little easier to apply the ink. I used Abandoned Coral, Spiced Marmalade, Fossilized Amber, Twisted Citron, and Broken China. Once I applied all five colors, I spritzed it with my Mr. Bottle and then turned the block over and pressed it to a piece of watercolor cardstock. I held it in place for about 30 seconds to give the ink time to soak in. Then I carefully lifted the block and blotted off the excess ink with a paper towel. I finished the card with Bird Day Stamps from Paper Rose Studio. And that's it! I'd love to know if you use Distress Inks, and if so, what's your favorite way to use them? Thanks so much for joining me today, have a fabulous day, and until next time, happy crafting! Bye!